I'm Katrina Huber, I'm an artist and my interest in Roman war painting started in 2008 when I was an Abbey Fellow at the British School at Rome which allowed me to go quite frequently to the Bay of Naples and to see these fantastic sites and houses and especially Roman war paintings on site. And uh, I was really struck how fresh and topical they seemed. And this led me to um, develop a series of uh, site responsive exhibition in different venues, but it still just felt like scratching the surface. And I really wanted to respond to specific houses specific sites and specific war paintings. We are in the Casa de Crypto Portico in Pompeii, which is a very beautiful house, distinctive. It has this unusual for a townhouse um, underground complex, the Crypto Porticos, um, which has also adjacent a suite of um, bathrooms, private bathrooms, which is also quite a rare feature in a townhouse in Pompeii. So for my work, it was really important to respond to the idiosyncrasies of the Casa de Crypto Portico and to these beautiful wall paintings. This colonnade was clearly um, reflecting the function of the space, to walk around, to talk with your guests. And it has been really interesting also in the conversations with the archaeologists on the team, to look at the wall paintings and to discuss why they've been done in a particular way and we'd had quite different ways of interpreting which I thought was really interesting. It's distinctive that the wall paintings look like um, they're symmetrical, like they're regular, but the longer you look the more you actually discover that they're, that they're not, that's exactly not what they are and they're quite irregular, quite unexpected and um, for, for me as a painter that makes total sense because um, it would be actually rather boring to have a very symmetrical scheme in, in a passageway which is about 60 to 80 meters long. So with my work I tried very much to respond to um, the painted colonnade with the Drosian frieze um, in the Cryptoparticles and to kind of reflect on these aspects of rhythm and also I'm really interested in this tension between imagined or fictional architecture and the real architecture, the real sort of architecture structure, how that kind of impacts on you as the viewer who, who walks through the space and that kind of play between two dimensions and three dimensions. In terms of the colours I've used, I very much responded to with this installation to the um, colonnade, painted colonnade here, and I love the the cup of more, more tone pigment here in these big back panels. And um, I wanted to work with a variation of that and with a quite cool colour scheme. And then in, with the other installation to set against something very intense and warmer than, than this installation. I also really wanted to work with black because there are many um, black wall paintings and I think it's quite interesting that in Roman wall painting very often um, it worked also with different surfaces, say shiny surfaces, matte surfaces, and to bring that element into the installation. But one of the key um, aspects of this, this one is as well the, the idea of folded space and folding up of space. I also wanted to use objects, Roman objects, and integrate them into the wall paintings. We had the fantastic opportunity to come here last year to scan objects in the storerooms here at Pompeii, but also in the storerooms in Herculaneum. And what really caught my eyes um, were these face pots and um, masks, face masks, um, which, we, which we saw here in Pompeii. And I love that there's everyday um, objects, but then they have these really cheeky, strange, and very funny and contemporary faces. They're poking the tongue at, the tongue at you, or just, um, yeah, looking at you with these sort of big children's eyes. I thought that these face pots and mask pots 
fit really well into the cryptoporticus because you get in the Roman antique wall paintings these fantastic and very humorous and expressive faces which usually are displayed at the bottom of the herms on the pillars and I think these face cups look incredibly contemporary to me and hence we've sort of changed the materiality into their 3D prints in a sort of silvery um, material to kind of dislodge them a bit from their original context as well. So the other installation is here in this sort of separated room which hasn't got any original wall paintings anymore but this room is actually aligned to a series of small bathrooms and they were adorned and one is still adorned with these most exquisite architectural illusionistic works and they were much more rooms where you would stay and sit down and talk and rest and so those um, wall paintings play with their fictional or imagined architectural structures play much more with the sort of notion of inside outside with domestic and public space and they use a range of different perspectives and I think clearly in a way that it responds to the viewer who's in there. So it's a kind of manipulation or using different perspective of viewpoints um, to manipulate how you will you would sort of bodily experience in the space. And so this work here responds to perspectively more, more complex works and uh, yeah, and it, it kind of plays with this opening and closing of walls and extensions and maybe um, distortions as well of perspective. And it's, I wanted it to be really intense and something which immerses you but at the same time keeps a distance as well. So I like that both these installations are obviously very closely connected, but quite different in 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 composition, in the colors used, in um, the construction as well. But that they are kind of in dialogue with each other, and very much in dialogue. I hope, and I really wanted it to be very much in dialogue with these exquisite, wonderful Roman wall paintings, which are so complex and full uh, that I think there's so much to still really one can learn from them.